on this day Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given exact equation so let's get started problem solve 2x by y cube dx plus y square minus 3x square by y power 4 into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation is x by y cube into dx plus y square minus 3x square by y power 4 into dy equals to 0. Okay? Which is in m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. Which is in m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. Where? By comparing these two, we'll get m equals to 2xy, y cube, and n equals to y square minus 3x square by y power 4, which is equals to y square by y power 4 minus 3x square by y power 4, which is equals to 1 by y square minus 3x square by y power 4. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. We are having m equals to 2x by y cube and n equals to y square minus 3x square by y power 4. Consider the given equation as 1. We have reduced n, right? n equals to 1 by y square minus 3x square by y power 4. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. This is equal to dou by dou y or for m equals to 2x by y cube. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. Here 2 and x are constant. So you can write the above as 2x into dou by dou y of 1 by y cube. So this is equal to 2x into dou y dou y of 1 by y cube can be written as y power minus 3 which is equal to 2x into derivative of y power minus 3 with respect to y is minus 3 into y power minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 3 is a 6 x into y power minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 which is equal to minus 6 x by y power 4 the above partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to minus 6x by y power 4. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do by do x of so n equals to 1 by y square minus 3x square by y power 4. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This is equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to x minus partial derivative of minus partial derivative of second term with respect to x. Since 1 by y square is constant, so partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 minus here 3 by y power 4 is treated as constant. You can write this as minus 3 by y power 4 into partial derivative of x square which is equal to minus 3 by y power 4 into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x which is equal to minus 3 to the 6 into x by x power 4. The whole partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to minus 6x by 
wipe off or it's clear that partial derivative of n with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, do n by do y equals to minus 6 x by y power 4 equals to do n by do x. Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this, we can say that equation 1 is x, that is the given differential equation is an x equation. Fine. Now, we need to find the general solution of the given differential equation. Okay. We are having m equals to 2x by y cube and n equals to 1 by y square minus 3x square by y power 4. Fine. We know that. The general solution of differential equation is given by differential equation in the sense exact differential equation. Okay? It's given by integral over x, m dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to c. Okay. So now let's consider the first integral, integral over x, m into dx. Here we'll be integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant. Is equals to integral for m equals to 2x by y cube into dx. Now let's write the constants outside the integral. So this becomes 2 by y cube into integral x dx. We know that integral x dx is x squared by 2. Here 2 gets cancelled. This is equals to x squared by y cube. Now let's consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to 1 by y square minus 3x square by y power 4. Since the second term containing x, so we can't consider it as free from x. So, first term, in the first term we don't have any x, right? It does not involve any x. So, the terms of n free from x is 1 by y square into dy. This is equal to integral. You can write 1 by y square as y power minus 2 into dy integral. y power minus 2 dy is y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to y power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 by y. Therefore, the general solution of the given equation that is of 1 is result obtained from the first integral x squared by y cube plus result obtained from the second integral is minus 1 by y equals to c. So this is the required general solution or you can reduce this by taking LCM of y cube and y. y into y square 1 y square y into y square y cube the numerator will get x square minus y square so x square minus y square by y cube equals to c then x square minus y square equals to c into y cube so this completes the problem so we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.